Hey, good Monday morning. Welcome to Upper Michigan Today. We're live at the Peter White Public Library here for an episode of All Booked Up. Okay, if you see me slouching in this chair, though, if I'm getting a little bit too comfortable, it's because it's just one of those Mondays. Shannon, We have Shannon Konoski here with us. She is the uh, assistant news director for TV6 while Elizabeth is out in Iceland. Her trip wraps up in just a couple of days. You can keep up with her on her Facebook page. She's been posting videos and pictures from her journey every single day single day and I'm jealous that uh, I'm not still there. I was kind of hoping for a volcanic eruption to kind of stop me from coming home. Maybe stay yeah. there for just a couple of Keep extra weeks. Yeah. yeah. That was a good story to tell when you get back. And well, I appreciate you uh, joining me here today, a fellow book lover, a fellow uh, English major yes. here in the presence for our, for our all booked up conversation. Um, but yeah, it's just a rainy Monday morning. It's going to be a rainy and end of the month. I'm I think the whole realizing week is raining, which you know, good time to curl up with a book and a, you know, cup of tea and <laughs> so true. Just kind of enjoy a laying low. I would have my cup of Joe with me right now, but that's spilled all over yeah, the car. So yeah. if you are taking your coffee out with you, put a lid. <laughs> put a lid on it. But you you know, while, while I was away in Iceland, um, Upper Michigan Today celebrated its two-year anniversary. It's really cool to see what we've done in that time. And, and, you know, one of the things that we've done in that time is all booked up. We started that a few months into um, the show, really. And we've had, this has been going on for like a, a year and a half now. We've had some really incredible books, mm -hmm. a lot of local authors. Now we're here with Marty Ackett. He's become a familiar face of <laughs> All Booked Up. We've got you on once a month. And so it's been a, a really incredible experience. The two years of Upper Michigan today, about a year and a half of of All Booked Up. And I mean, it's just a exciting thing to be a part of a uh, book club at your local library. Yeah, it's absolutely amazing. And we've had such an array of books um, from bestsellers to to local authors. Um, and it's it's just been so great to uh, see how people have embraced uh, the, the book club and reading the books and talking about them. It's 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 really exciting. And he, being here at the library, we kind of have a live studio audience, yes. if you will. I feel a little bit like, are we live with Kelly and Mark right now? Yeah. I, think so. <laughs> I think we are. So so we're here to discuss our book. We have a couple of authors in the studio. And who's that over there? Nick Baumgartner. We're going to be discussing his book today as well, even though, you know, his, his book... Um, was not this past month's read. It was this one, A Cold, Hard Prayer. But before we get into that, into discussing that book, I want to jump ahead to this next month's read. Yes. So if you finished A Cold, Hard Prayer, if you're just chilling on this rainy Monday, if you're looking for something to do, what is the next All okay. Booked Up pick? All right. Can you reach behind you there? Oh, sure. Thanks. Our next All Booked Up pick is going to be um, James McBride's book, The Heaven and Earth Grocery Store. So fantastic. Um, just won the National Book Award. Um, and um, it's a wonderful, wonderful, it's sort of a mystery because mm -hmm. a body is discovered at the beginning. And so it's all about how, the, how they unravel the mystery of who that uh, skeleton belonged to. And the story is so heartbreaking and deals a lot with um, racial inequality and immigration and everything. So it's a, it's a book that's set back in the early 1900s, but it really is a book that also speaks to our time as well. When was it written? Um, it was. Ju it just came out in 2023, late 2023, something like that, and it's been on the bestsellers list forever, and um, you can't get a copy of it um, at the library. As fast as it comes in, it goes out. So we did order some extra copies of it, um, so hopefully people will be able to get their hands on it and, uh, and read it for next month. And why should they read it? And who should read it? Is it something that teens can pick up as well as adults? I think that this book has, is going to have a wide appeal. Um, I don't really have to do many trigger warnings with mm -hmm. this book. I think it's um, a book that almost anybody is going to uh, enjoy. And, um, you know, from from younger readers, I think that, you know, older teens would enjoy it right up through, through seniors. I mean, this is a book that's going to appeal to a lot of people. 
Okay, can I see this? Yes. Okay, so once again, that's The Heaven and Earth Grocery Store by James McBride. Mm -hmm. And is this a debut for James McBride? Has he no, published No, no, he's, he, yeah, he's been, he's written quite a few books. Um, I think that the first uh, book that he was really big for was the, uh, known for was The Color of Water. But he's, um, he had an Oprah book club selection, Deacon King Kong. So, I mean, he is, he is uh, the real deal. He's, and, and some people are saying he's going to win the Pulitzer this year. We'll see. Okay. Oh, I guess we'll have to read it and find out for ourselves. I just want to take a peek at the page numbers here. <laughs> this is in the three, upper 300s. Okay. Yeah, I, I mean, it's a pretty decent-sized read. Yeah, but it goes really fast. It's a very, very quick reading book. And if you're an audiobook listener, the audiobook is fantastic as well. All right. Well, put this on your list and make sure you get to the Peter White Public Library early because, like Marty said... They have a hard time keeping this book on the shelves. Well, our all booked up conversation is going to uh, really go into depth with this past month's read, A Cold Hard Prayer. We've got the author joining us here today at the library. So we're going to get into that when we come back from the break.